my name is Kay and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, isi-share ko sa inyo yung mga requirements o yung mga bagay na ginawa ko during my NMC application and assessment. So, if you want to know more, then please keep on watching. So, please note na ang process na ito is under the old process ng NMC uh, application. So, yung application ko kasi hindi siya after October 7 kasi after October 7 meron ng bagong changes yung application sa NMC. So, ako hindi ko na yun inabutan. So, if uh, I am actually doing further research regarding the new process. So, para na share ko din sa inyo and if in case na yung husband ko mag-apply din eh, alam na namin kung ano yung gagawin namin. But for now, i-share ko muna sa inyo yung naging experience ko. After the time na nakapasa ko ng CBT as you may know, nakapasa na ako ng CBT. I'll put it somewhere in the cards so that you'll see my CBT experience. So, from application, ano yung mga ginawa ko para makompleto ko lahat ng requirements from the DL part. So, luckily, may DL na ako or what they call decision letter. So, na-review na ng NMC yung papers ko na pinorward sa kanila and nagka-DL na ako after one month of waiting, finally, nagkaroon na ako ng decision letter. Bago tayo magsimula, yung NMC application and assessment, ito yung next step na gagawin mo after passing the CBT. Ito na yung time na magbabayad ka for your application and assessment. And ang payment is 140 pounds. So, in my case, since under ako sa agency and meron na akong employer, so yung employer ko na yung nag-shoulder ng payment for this NMC application, but if you wish to process it on your own, yung wala kang agency, you may do so. Payments are accepted. You can use your Visa card, MasterCard, so credit card payments. I'm not sure if pwede mo siyang bayaran ng magbabayad ka sa mga bayad centers, something like that. But in my case, the agency paid it using a Visa card. Let's proceed. So, ang first na ginawa ko. Actually, maglalagin ka sa website, eh, ba For you to be able to register to the CBT, meron kang website na pagre-registeran. So, once you finish your CBT, makikita mo na doon na pwede ka nang magbayad for your application. So, I'll just put it in the link if you're interested and you're still using the old process. Ha? Just to remind you, this is the old process of registering. Hindi ito yung new process after October 7. So, if you want that information, baka lagay ko na lang din yung link ng uh, page kung saan kayo makakakuha ng additional information regarding the new process. But for the old process, ito yung website na kailangan yung gamitin. And once na makalagin ka na doon and your payment has been made, pwede ka na mag-upload and mag-secure ng mga documents mo. The first document that you need to secure is proof of identification. So, for the proof of identification, wala ka namang kailangan email dito. So, lahat lang kailangan mong scan and i-upload dun sa website nila. So, for the proof of identification, you have to have your passport, birth certificate, and marriage certificate. If in case na married ka, and this information kailangan mo tong scan and i-upload sa NMC website. So the next requirement would be English language skills. So sa English language skills, so I have a video about IELTS UK VI, pero sa current update nila, I think UK VA is not required anymore. So you could take the IELTS academic or the regular academic IELTS and OET or yung occupational English test. So, you could uh, take either one of those. Both of them are accepted in the UK. And, ang kailangan mo, if you're taking IELTS, you need the TRF number. So, located siya dun sa TRF form na makukuha mo once you pass the IELTS. And, you need the form itself. So, yung form, scan mo yun. I-attach mo rin siya dun sa website ng NMC for your uh, application to proceed. So, next requirement would be the third one would be professional education and training. So, dito sa professional education and training, so dito mo i-attach yung mga school records mo. So, since it's for education, kailangan nila yung mga school records or proof na nag-take ka ng nursing. So, they need a copy of your diploma. 
So, you have to scan your diploma and attach it on the NMC website. And dun sa NMC website, makikita nyo dun na merong form na ita-download. So, the form is called FAT or Form Accompanying Transcript Training. So, ita-download mo yung form na yun. Those forms are uh, barcoded or meron siyang mga QR code. So, hindi mo pwedeng pagpalit-palitin yung mga forms kasi ano siya meron siyang QR code so once na in-scan nila automatic yan na maa-identify na para sa iyo and it's for this type of form so yung form na yon kailangan mo yun ipa-fill out ipapa-fill out mo siya sa school mo so in my case uh, sa probinsya ako nag-aral and the dean is the one who filled out my form so kailangan dun sa FAT form may kasama siyang POR May kasama siyang RLE summary. So, it depends on your school kung anong process nyo. Kung kailangan nyo ba ng bago or kailangan nyo okay lang ba yung luma. Pero sa amin, nag-request ako ng mga bagong documents. And then, minail ko yun after na fill out nila. So, kailangan magkakasama yun sa isang envelope. Isisilya ng school nyo and isa-stamp nila. So, hindi mo na yan pwedeng i-open once na na-seal nila. So, bago naman nila yan i-seal, ipapacheck nila sa you if you have everything you need in the envelope. So, fourth requirement would be post-qualification and registration. So, dito na pumapasok yung mga license mo. So, if you have uh, multiple nursing licenses. So, ito, dito yan papasok sa post-qualification. So, kailangan nila ng proof na meron kang existing license. So, they would need the RAV form. So, yung RAV form is ano, pang, ano ba yung RAV form? Registering Authority Verification. So, parang yun yata yung ibig sabihin ng RAV form. So, this RAV form is also QR coded. So, may QR code din siya. So, if in, uh, for example, ako, dalawa yung license ko. I am holding a PRC license in the Philippines and I am holding a Saudi Council license here in Saudi Arabia. So, dalawa yan, dalawa yung license mo. So, may dalawa kang RAV form. Make sure na yung Saudi Council, pang Saudi Council, yung PRC, pang PRC. Huwag mo siyang pagpapalitin kasi baka magka-problema yung application mo. So, let me share with you my experience sa PRC. So, ano ba yung mga kailangan mong gawin for you to get uh, registration information regarding your PRC? So, first, you have to request for a state board verification. So, in the old process, itong process na ginawa ko, pumunta lang ako sa PRC for my state board verification. So, hihingi ka doon ng slip. Meron silang state board verification slip. Actually, meron akong video eh. Baka lagay ko na lang somewhere in the cards to see yung video ko nung pumunta ako ng, ano, ng PRC. So, meron siyang state board verification and you have to pay 75, 75 pesos plus stamp. Dalawang stamp yata yung hinihingi nila. I'm not sure kung humingi sila ng stamp or what. Pero, basta, uh, wala pang 100 yung babayaran mo. Mapapamahal ka sa courier. Kasi, you have to mail your uh, documents kasi meron kang RAV form, di ba? Yung RAV form, ibibigay mo yan along with the state verification slip. So, susulatan nila yung RAV form mo and then, imimail nila yan, yung RAV form mo along with other uh, requirements kasama yata ang board certificate, yung lupon, tsaka yung certificate of passing, or yung copy ng ID yata. Yun. Basta may mga required documents, makikita nyo naman yun dun sa slip na ibibigay nila, i-fill out para makapag-apply ka for state board verification. And you have to pay for the courier fee. So, in our case, ang courier nila is DHL. So, nasa close to 3,000 pesos yung binayaran ko. And nareceive naman uh, para mga 2 days after na send, nag-reflect na siya agad dun sa website na nareceive na ng NMC yung papers ko. So, along with the PRC requirements, kailangan mo rin scan yung lupon. So, baka ipakita ko dito kung ano yung itsura ng lupon if you're if you're not familiar, pero lahat naman tayong mga registered nurses in the Philippines, meron tayong itong uh, lupon. It's the certificate, parang siya yung certification na ikaw ay isang licensed nurse in the Philippines. So, kailangan mo siyang i-scan at i-attach mo rin siya doon sa website. So, after that, after mo ma-secure lahat ng mga PRC requirements mo, you have to get an NBI clearance. 
kasi kailangan mo mag-attach din ng NBI clearance along with your uh, board certificate. So, yung NBI clearance, kailangan kumuha ka kasi sa pag-apply ng NMC, you have to get police clearances from the countries that you've stayed in for more than 3 months. So, if nag-stay ka sa ibang bansa for more than 3 months, you have to get a police clearance. So, since nga doon naman tayo pinanganak, doon tayo nag-aral and everything. So, you have to get a police clearance in the Philippines. So, ang ina-accept nila is NBI, NBI clearance. So, madali na lang naman kumuha ng NBI clearance. You'll get it within the day. So, isa-scan mo din yun and i-attach mo along with your board certificate. So, that's my PRC uh, verification. Then, next, for Saudi Council, it's actually the same. So, kailangan mo mag-download ng RAB, yung form para fill out na ng Saudi Council. You have to have your professional accreditation certificate o parang yung board, board certificate mo dito sa Saudi. So, I will show you a photo here kung anong itsura nung uh, PAC. PAC ang tawag nila PAC. So, yung professional accreditation certificate. If uh, it's in Arabic, so you have to have it translated. So, ipapatranslate mo yung iyong certificate. Pero ngayon, since online na yung Saudi Council, meron sila dong parang registration certificate. You can download that and I think that would suffice in replacement to the professional accreditation certificate. Kasi may mga iba na wala na silang access dun sa PAC na yun kasi... Uh, minsan, hindi naman yan sa'yo binibigay ng employer mo. So, I think that would suffice. And you also have to get a certificate of good standing. So, yung certificate of good standing, makakakuha ka niyan sa Mumaris Plus. So, online lang and you have to pay yung 300 reals. So, once na masecure mo na yung payment, babayaran mo na siya through sa dad or through credit card makukuha mo rin agad yung certificate of good standing mo. So, mga 10 minutes, available na yan for download. Pwede mo na siyang iprint. So, yung mga kailangan mo para sa pagpunta mo ng Saudi Council, actually, i-mail mo din yung mga documents na yan. Eh. So, yung RAV form, yung PAC, yung board certificate mo, yung copy ng ID mo. So, if you have the copy of your Saudi Council ID, isasama mo yan yung certificate of good standing. Ako in my case, sinama ko yung certificate nung nandun sa Mumaris class, sinama ko yung board certificate, sinamahan ko rin ng ikama at saka ng passport, lahat na nang pwede kong ilagay dun sa paper na in-mail. And may payment yon. Ang payment para sa pagpapafill out ng RAB form sa Saudi Council is 100 reals. So, 100 nga ba? Oo, 100 reals ba? Or 150? I'm not sure. Flash ko na lang yung presyo kung magkano yung binayaran ko. And then, after nilang ma fill outan yung form, babalik kayo. Kasi magpapaschedule ka ng appointment for verification. Pupunta ka sa Saudi Council office. And then, once na matapos nila yun, bibigyan ka nila ng date kung kailan ka babalik. So, pag bumalik ka, ipapacheck nila sa'yo if okay na yung documents. And then, yung mga papers na kailangan mo, ibibigay mo sa kanila para isil nila yung papel. Just like what you did sa school, ganun din. Isisil nila yung papel, kailangan stamped and sealed ng office nila. And then, you will mail it also. Imi-mail mo din siya, kailangan nilang makuha yung hard copy ng documents. So, in Saudi Council, meron kang option na ikaw na lang yung mag-mail on your own. Unlike sa PRC, sila yung nag-mail para sa'yo. For Saudi Council, pwedeng ikaw na yung mag-mail. Also, apart from the Saudi Council requirements, kailangan mo din mag-secure ng Saudi Police Clearance. So, may video rin ako about the Saudi Police Clearance, how to get the Saudi Police Clearance. So, panoodin nyo na lang yun if you're interested or if you haven't uh, had the time to get it. So, andon yung step-by-step -step process kung ano yung kailangan yung gawin to secure a Saudi Police Clearance. Yung Police Clearance, kailangan yung scan and i-upload dun sa tab for post-qualification registration. So, makikita nyo naman yun, magkahiwalay yung sa PRC at saka yung Saudi Council. Just make sure, pulit-ulit ako na nagsasabi na wag na wag nyo silang pagpapalitin kasi nga QR coded siya, baka magka-problema yung application nyo if nagkapalit yung form. So, number five is work experience. So, lahat naman tayo, meron tayong work experience. But, what NMC requires 
is work experience from English countries. So, if makita mo tong uh, field na to for work experience, make sure na if hindi ka naman sa English country nag-work, like Canada, US, you don't need to fill this out. If, uh, like us, sa atin, sa Philippines, Tagalog naman yung means of communication. Dito sa Saudi, ang means of communication is Arabic. So, hindi mo na kailangan i-fill out yung form na yon. Just leave it blank. Number six. So, ito na yung last and final step na gagawin mo or if i-fill out mo yung mga documents na isi-secure mo would be for good character and good health. So, for good character, wala ka naman kailangan i-secure. You just have to answer some questions, may mga tanong sila if you've been convicted before, if meron kang case, mga ganun lang. So, ino mo lang yung lahat kasi wala naman tayong mga ganyan and we're hoping na wala. So, ino no mo lang yan lahat. While for good health, kailangan mo ng declaration of good health. So, yung declaration of good health, ida-download mo rin yan dun sa website nila, dun sa tab ng good character and good health. So, makikita mo yan, pwede mo lang i-download. And QR coded din yan. You have to have it filled out by a physician. So, in my case, since under agency ako, ni-require ng agency na magpa-medical ako sa mga accredited uh, diagnostic clinics nila. So, nagpa-medical ako at the same time, I asked the doctor if pwede ba silang mag-fill out ng form. And it's free. Parang ang binayaran ko lang sa kanila yung total ng medical ko, which is 1,999 pesos. So, fill out na rin nila yung good uh, health ko, yung DOGH ko na form. So, once na ma-secure mo na yung lahat ng documents na yan, make sure na lahat ng information is tama. Lahat nagtutugma dun sa mga evidences na ipapasa mo. So, yung graduation date, kailangan tama. Yung mga license issue date, yan, dapat tama yan. Mga passport numbers, kailangan i-make sure mo lahat eh nagmamatch dun sa mga documents. Kasi kailangan mo rin i-enter yan eh. Apart from you sending the documents, i-enter mo rin yan dun sa mga fields na required. So, make sure that you enter and double check all the documents before you click on submit. So, if you're not ready to send it yet, you have the options to just save it and continue later. So, i-save mo lang siya and then continue later. Then, if hindi mo pa na-secure yung mga documents, then you could proceed in a later time. So, once na okay na lahat ng papers mo, okay na lahat, na-upload mo na lahat, na-fill outan mo na lahat, na-secure mo na lahat ng documents mo, then that's the time that you could click submit para ma-review na nila yung papers mo. In my case, hindi ko muna siya sinubmit hanggat hindi ko nakikita na nag-reflect na yung mga documents na, na sinend via mail. So, yung PRC, sinend siya ng PRC para sa akin, in my behalf. So, yon hindi ko na sa minail sila na yung nag-mail nun para sa akin. Pero yung three other documents, yung FAT form, yung RAV ko from Saudi Council, and yung Declaration of Good Health, minail ko yan ng magkakasabay. So, okay lang sa kanila na kahit email mo sila ng sabay-sabay in one envelope, basta nakalabel kung ano yung mga documents na yun. So, what I did, I put it in separate envelopes. So, hiwa-hiwalay yung yung fat form, yung RAV, at saka yung declaration of good health. Nalagay ko sila sa isa-isang isa envelope para makita nila na ay ito pala yun. Apart from the QR codes, makikita rin nila. That's how OOC I am. So, kailangan hiwa-hiwalay siya para hindi rin ako nalilito kapag uh, iti-check ko siya na ay okay na to, okay na to. So, pinasa ko sila, uh, sinend ko sila by mail ng sabay-sabay and I use DHL. So, yung DHL medyo mahal siya compared to others. Sabi nila, mas mura daw yung SAMSA if you're here in Saudi Arabia. Pero, DHL na lang yung inano ko. Kasi, hindi ko naman siya isesend ng hiwa-hiwalay. So, okay na lang din. If you have budget, okay lang mag-DHL. Pero, sabi ng mga ibang nakita ko, you can send it by uh, SAMSA or yung SMSA. So, Pagsamasamahin nyo na lang para mas makatipid kayo kasi mahal din yung payment nyo sa pagsisend ng mga documents. Yun actually yung isang binago nila dun sa new process. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-send ng documents through mail. Puro ano na lang, puro verification na lang over email nila. Tatawagan nila yata, mga ganyan. So wala nang mga email Pero since nga nandun tayo sa old process, yun. 
kailangan email yung mga documents. So, nung sinan ko siya by DHL, after a few days, siguro, after two days din yata, two to three days, naka-reflect na dun sa NMC website yung mga documents ko. So, mabilis lang. Yun din yung uh, reason kung bakit sinan ko siya by DHL kasi mabilis. So, makikita ko agad kasi may mga nababasa ako na yung mga documents nila nawala. It's lost in the mail. So, natakot lang din ako kasi nandito nga ako sa Saudi. So, hindi ko agad maaayos yung mga lalo na yung fat form kasi sa school mo yun kukunin. So, medyo masastruggle ako. So, I wanna make sure that everything will be received. Hindi siya mawawala. Kaya, sinan ko na lang siya by DHL. So, once na ma-receive na nila yung mga documents mo, yung final documents mo, mag makikita mo yun, may date yun eh, kung kailan nila, kailan nila na-receive. So, yung date ng last document received will be your queue date. So, doon magsisimula yung pagbilang mo kung kailan lalabas yung iyong DL or yung decision letter. So, makikita mo sa website na ang processing time frame takes 40 to 60 working days. So, medyo matagal yan. So, be patient. Ako, araw-araw ko siyang chine-check. As in, every day. Pagising ko sa umaga, yun ang una kong chine-check. Kasi nga, syempre, di ba, although okay naman yung mga papers na pinasa mo, syempre, kakabahan ka pa rin kasi naghihintay ka, maging okay ba to or hindi. Pero, luckily, naging okay naman siya. So... Finally, finally, nakuha ko na yung decision letter ko. So, manonotify ka through email if okay na yung assessment nila. So, I'll put a screenshot here nung email nila sa akin. Nung na-receive ko talaga yun, tuwan-tuwa ako. Kasi, ang aking queue date is October 4. And, November 4, wala pa akong nare-receive. So, nag-follow up ako sa NMC twice. Sabi nila na nasa queue na daw yung aking aking application and it's awaiting assessment parang ganyan so it's been 30 days sabi ko wala pa din bakit ganon so na follow up na follow up ulit ako so yung first follow up ko parang after 2 weeks ng pagkasend ko ng documents and then the next one is after 30 days yung sunod na follow up ko parang hindi na ako nagano siguro pinaprocess na nila yan kasi merong page sa Facebook na Pinoy UK nurses so makikita mo doon na kung ano na yung mga queue date na pinaprocess nila so chine-check ko na lang din yun from time to time and then parang napagod na ako maghintay sabi ko siguro ipaprocess nila yan at the maximum time frame na 60 days 60 working days so sige hayaan na lang natin i-check na lang natin siya from time to time hindi na ako nagpa-follow up masyado sa NMC. Then, lumabas yung DL ko ng November 26. So, that was last week nung lumabas yung DL ko and I couldn't be any more happier. So, once na lumabas yung DL mo, magkakaroon ka ng link to download your decision letter. So, eto yon, Eto yung decision letter mo. So, eto yung kailangan mo for you to proceed to the next step. So, that concludes my NMC application and assessment. So, medyo mahabang proseso siya. Actually, six lang naman yung mga uh, fields na kailangan mo i-fill out. Pero, kasi medyo marami yung mga requirements. Eh. So, if uh, may mga questions kayo, comment lang na kayo dyan sa baba. If you're like me that did the process by using the old... Uh, process ng application then please uh, sound off below please like this video if you like videos like this comment down below if may mga katanong kayo regarding sa NMC application baka matulungan ko kayo at masagot ko yung mga tanong nyo please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you on my next video bye